Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Trailmakers in the Airborne Expansion. And today, I think we'll be finishing up this area, hopefully, because I kind of want to get on to the next ones and maybe get some parts to make a plane. But before we get on to that, I'm going to get rid of these things real quick and get this back into battle mode. So I think I want to collect a couple more parts, then do a couple more missions, and then hopefully by that time I will be done this place. And be able to move on to some uh, new places, hopefully get some new parts. Spinning servo, okay. Now we're getting to the good stuff, the actually functional stuff. The stuff that really matters in the long run. Now, I'm not sure why all these things are showing up on my radar now, but all of a sudden they are. That's okay with me. I like radar. Is there a piece down here then, underneath the cliffs of this place? The, the, the dirigible is back? That's good to know. Um, got some explosives coming in. Ouch, got dinged up a little bit. That's fine. Oh, most of the damage is gonna come from me slamming into the cliffs. <gasps> oh, baby. I got a wing. Oh baby, I got an actual real wing. Let's go. Yes, I can make a plane now. Yes, this is good. This is very good. I think I wanna make a plane. Right about now. Grab a little power core while I'm here. And uh, I think I'm gonna go take the next mission, and then uh, I guess we'll see what it is. And if I need this guy, then I'll use this guy. If not, then I kind of want to make a plane now, because with those wings, I should be able to get some actually reliable lift. I mean, there's power cores all over the place that I have just been ignoring. Now, why is there a power core marked over there and not this one right here next to me? I don't understand the pinging system on the compass. Tell me what the next mission is, please, and thank you. And then I will decide where to go next. I need your help. Good. I need your pieces. Dogfighting bullies. All right, so it sounds like I'm gonna need a fighter, a fighter jet. My team of archeologists are stuck on the mountaintop. I know exactly where they are. They were trying to learn about that giant stone, the giant stone heads. Okay, sounds reasonable. But some Spyro dogfighters are harassing them. What did I just say? I'm on the job. But first I kind of want to, uh, yeah, I kind of want to make myself a plane. I think the time has come. So let's just go ahead and uh, make this nice and fancy looking. So we've got spinning servos now, which are kind of cool. I've got actual wings, which are incredibly useful. So I'm gonna put these on here, and we're gonna just make it nice and compact so it's like super maneuverable. I kinda wanna put some tail fins right about here. Can I slap these on the sides? Yes, I can. Let's do good old propeller and jets. So this will be like forward propulsion. We can also do uh, jet engines in the back. That's definitely an option. Wheels, 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 wheels. We've got landing wheels. That's pretty cool. So let's do, I wanna do like a double set up front. That looks kind of silly. Maybe that's a little unnecessary. Let's just go with one set of wheels. That'll be all right. And then maybe extend this a little further back. So I kind of wanna just get a judge on the speed here. Okay, not incredibly fast. But that's all right. Maybe I could even, hmm. Do I have any like, I've got those frame pieces that have been plaguing me. I could maybe make use of those, the grid blocks. What if instead of having it right on the front, I put it on these? Then I have two of them. You know, kind of like that. Feels like it's gonna be pulling up though. Maybe they should be down below since the actual wings are offset upwards. And if this is the way it is, then that might work perfectly. Let's take a look at that. Now that is some speed, okay. Um, now we're gonna need some control. 
being able to turn and stuff. Um, so maybe what I should do is instead of just having those right on the side, get my mechanic blocks and I go for good old servos. Gotta be able to turn and stuff. So we'll just insert one over here. Oh, I do realize an issue. That's gonna change which way I'm moving. That's not fantastic. That's not fantastic at all. Hmm. Okay, this might not work out in the end. This might kind of not work out at all in the end. I really like my propellers being on the sides, but maybe I'm just gonna have to stick with them being on the front. Ah, that's a shame. Because when I turn, the propulsion is going to be going up and down as well. Oh. That's a bummer. It was kind of cool looking. Whatever. This will be fine. We'll just work with it like this. I think I need bigger wings. So let's extend those just a little bit. Now, these should provide a whole lot of lift. And that is what I am looking for. Now, steering. I'm going to do the old jet on the end method. That's my favorite. It works out. And we'll just put one over here as well. And that should be good. So this will fire on... No, that's not what I... Ooh, I'm making copies everywhere. This will fire on uh, A. And this one will fire on D. Okay, so it should be able to go up and down and left and right. The basics for a plane. Hmm, still not that much lift. Gotta be honest. Those spoilers were pretty good. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, they weren't that bad. <laughs> okay. Well, hmm. Maybe I could... Actually, you know what? Having the things connected to the wings wouldn't be bad. Because they would actually increase the lift a lot. But where do I want them to be in there? I guess right in the middle, I suppose. Maybe right there in the middle? That actually is a good idea that I had. The propulsion will be just fine. Oh my goodness, that is so peppy. Ugh. Whoa, I hit so hard that the music stopped for a second. Let's take care of the lack of wheels in the back. Also, kind of a lack of stability. No. Put you over here. Now I can go forward. What is this thing floating on? What is happening here? I think the hitboxes here are kind of broken. Okay. So, this guy really likes to go up and down. I could reduce the range of motion of the servo motors, and that would solve that problem a little bit. That might help. But I'm also just super, super, like, touchy with everything. So I kind of want to figure some of this stuff out. Tail fins might be important. Problem is, it's off-center. Ah, uh, I think all we need is some good fine-tuning. Maybe even some speed decrease. Let's set the speed to 50%. 0. 0.50. Make it go nice and slow. We'll make the angle also, say, 30. Just to test it out. Also, turning speed could be a little bit lower. We'll set these to also 50%. Okay, I didn't mean to move you. Just clicked on it. You have to click so fast. Otherwise, it'll drag it away. No, I said 0. 0.50. 0. 0.50. Okay. Is this going to be good? Let's give it a little, let's give it a little look. Seems a little bit more manageable. Okay, um, whoa. Okay, turning speed was kind of important, actually. I'm, I'm kind of realizing that now. Um, I've lost one of my things. That's fine. Let's just do this. Okay, this thing doesn't have a lot of propulsion. My goodness, it's still so fidgety and wobbly and stuff. Let's just put those there. Those are also on space. So we've got the propellers, which will give me 
upwards and downwards control, and the thrusters that just push forward all the time. That's good. Not bad. We are uh, trending upward. We've got, whoa, kind of back heavy stuff on the going on back there. But in terms of control, it's not that bad. It's much better than my uh, other plane. I'm entering the maze valley, not, not great. Going down. What are the problems I have with this vehicle right now? It kind of, it's kind of wiggly. What if I were to take some simple tail fins, kind of just put them back here. Maybe even some on the ends here of these, just to make it extra stabilized. Hmm. Maybe that'll help. I don't actually know. I feel like I have more control. I don't know why my servos are kind of uneven. Oh, one of them didn't get the speed adjustment. That is really not good. I don't know why that happened. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Sometimes uh, the inputs don't actually happen. Which one was it? Speed is at 2. My goodness, you're supposed to be down to 0.50, right? Is that correct? Because what's the other one? Yeah, 0.50. What you doing? I want to set these back up to 100% because they weren't actually being bad. They were actually being kind of good. Now that I think about it. Alright, let's try again. Alright, we've got pretty steady flight. Look at how maneuverable I am in the upwards and downwards maneuvers. Look, I can actually just stay straight. That's super good. Look at this. I've got an actual plane on my hands. Very nice. Turning it to the side is still very slow. I feel like that is because of my, whoa, stabilizers. They are holding on to the position very well, which is a good thing. But it would be nice if I could turn faster. This is supposed to be a fighter after all. So let's do a little landing over here. Well, kind of landing. Well, I did land. Maybe I could real quick double this. Just real quick. Double the turning power. And then put that back. Uh-huh. Now I think we should work on, because we're gonna have to balance for it anyways, some weaponry. If I could attach one of these to the top and then one of them to the bottom, that would be nice. Can I fit a minigun on that? It's kind of looking like that's a no. What if I were to just nudge this back a smidge? Then I can. And if I were to insert another one, that's going to be very heavy up front. But let's just see what happens. Oh, that is so heavy. That is very heavy. But, I mean, we're still flying. And we're still pretty stable. And we're still able to whip around a lot. Turning is still kind of slow, but not as slow. So that's kind of nice. Ooh, the weight is making it so it's very hard to go up. Interesting. Okay. Maybe miniguns are a little overkill, but I really want miniguns, you know? I really do. Let's take a look at maybe increasing this. Just to compensate. I think that'll help. It's so front heavy now, though. Very, very front heavy. Ouch. Ouch. Breaking my window glass. Let's see if we can go straight up now. Mmm, barely. Barely, barely. Hmm. I mean, we're maneuvering. Going up is slow, but that's not exactly what planes are supposed to do anyways. I am very stable while shooting. That is important. Okay, I think we might have a thing on our hands. We might have a winner. But, to finish it off, I've got one more thing I want to do. A camera block. Why does it have to be offset? Ooh, that makes me upset. Makes me very, very sad. Hold on. No, 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 no. Can we fix this? Oh, no, that's awful. Why does... 
<laughs> one thing I would really love in this game is the ability to have, you know, like, middles. I guess maybe it's gonna have to be good enough. So, left shift, that's not gonna work. I mean, maybe left shift will work. I don't know. Uh, field of view, angle. Let's see what that looks like. Um, excuse me. Go out of the builder. Oh, I have to hold it to go there. Oh, I can move it around too? Okay, that's actually kind of nice. I'd like it to be toggle. Can I do that? Um, toggle. Yeah, I can do that. That's kind of nice. Okay. Um, are we ready to go fight some people? Maybe. Uh, before I do, I need more space. Base? What you talking about? Before I do that, I kind of want to save it. Save this bad boy. And then set him to number three. Get rid of that guy forever. Okay, now let's go to this place. And we'll do a quick little takeoff. And we'll see how uh, dog fighting goes. Okay, I kind of want to go first person here. Kind of struggling with my controls here for a second. Don't worry. Uh, let's go first person when it's time to fight, you know? Don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Okay, this thing is so much more stable. Doesn't bounce around. I can actually control it. When I let go of the keys, the plane stays generally where it is. It leans down a little bit in the front because of all the guns. But they're very important. Very important. Okay. Gaining altitude is hard. Very difficult. Now it's time for the reckoning. Okay, this is... That first person camera may be just a detriment to me. Alright, come on, guys. Come at me. Oh, man, that guy's already almost done. Dude. These guys are losers. Doing some fancy flips up here. Not exactly what I'm intending to do. Oh, you think you can shoot at me? You think you can shoot at me? Going up is very slow. Going up is very slow. Eh, eh. I'm coming for you. Got one. Awesome. I wonder if I could do like a fancy little... Okay, no I can't. No I can't. Do a flip. Do, do a flip. Uh, okay. I was trying to do like a flip over backwards and, and fly at him. You know? But it didn't really pan out. It was worth a shot though. Come here you. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm not... Mm. Left and right, a, a, a yaw control would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Maybe that's what I should work on next. But it's too late for that now. I'm in the middle of a battle. Dude, absolutely smoked him. Let's go. Any more? Any more where that came from? I think I took care of him. Awesome. All right, let's go pick up the chirpos and get out of here. Oh boy, I barely made it up. Okay, go to this one. Oh, and we'll just have to make the... Uh, why did my hat change again? My goodness, this game cannot get it right. I want my hat on. It's a cool hat. I paid money for that hat, and it keeps taking it away from me. Hey guys, I got rid of the pirates. Okay, I didn't really. Um, that was unexpected. Okay, I guess it's back up into the air with me. Don't worry about it, I, I, I have things to take care of. Yeah, I know I need more passenger seats. Chill out. I'm trying to take care of the pirates. I'm trying to take care of the pirates. Oh my goodness, this guy's just this guy's just getting out of here. Come on. This plane goes up so slowly. Uh, these guys run away so much. Come on. Come here. Come, come here. Mm. They're so much more maneuverable than I am. Luckily, I've got much more firepower than they do. Come here. Oh, that should have got him. That should have got him. Up, 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 up. Please, up. Up, 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 please, up. Why is this dude flying so badly? Such a bad pilot. Come on, where are you going? Into the clouds! He just... Okay. I guess if that's how you want to play it, then by all means. So we're going to need a little bit more balloon. Maybe a little bit more balloon back here as well. We're going to need 16 Sherpo seats. So let's go to here. And we'll go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And we'll just do that on the same side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hop on, guys. We are going home. Luckily, we don't have to go up in the air very much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Okay, guys, hang on. This is gonna be a bit of a nosedive. My goodness, I wish I had balanced this out a little bit more. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be a problem. This is not gonna work. Not gonna work. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, repair. Gork, we crashed. Oh my goodness, they're gone. They just ditched me. Is this gonna work better? Barely. Oh my goodness, this is such a bad vehicle. Uh, but it just has to go down. It doesn't have to go up anywhere. It just has to get me down to the village. All right, guys, I fixed it. We're good now. Hop in. Ouch. Hop in. Guys, if you could just, like, walk over here, that would be super fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are so lazy. I have to, like, basically squash them for them to get into this plane. And then when I get home, I have to bring them to their doorstep, open the door for them, and set their table. Make them coffee. For this job, I deserve something super awesome. You're gonna give me that, right? Hey, I'm so relieved that you saved everyone. That was weird. <laughs> and nobody even got hurt. That doesn't seem possible. <laughs> Except for those pirates, of course. Yeah, no one cares about them. They're just dumb robots. Here. I got the next piece of the piece of the puzzle. Our slice of the ancient weapon. That means how many more? You have earned it. Is there one more area or is there more? I don't know what's going on. Ooh, Patchy's plane. Small flap wing. Small Oh, I'm getting all the pieces. Oh my goodness. Now this. Thanks for plucking those pirates out of the sky. You're welcome. This is nice. Now I've got all these really awesome plane pieces. I kind of am tempted to... Do you want to build this? No. But I will take a peek. I'm curious as to uh, what this plane is going to be like. So we've got... Okay, so we've... Oh, it's very slow turning. Interesting. How are we actually going up and down with this? Is it the uh, wings on the end that are doing that? Because that's a much better motion than what I was getting. I would like that big tail fin. I really would. Okay, so it's the flaps in the back that are making me go up and down. Nice. That is a much better solution than what I have. That's a good idea because those weren't actually a actual thing in the first game, were they? And then for steering, we've got flaps on the ends of the wings. Right, that's how real planes work. Those weren't in the game before, were they? I don't think so. Maybe. Alright, let's go back to the other place. I'm gonna get my other plane because it's so much better. Because mine can actually... Mine is much more zippy. That is, uh, that is for sure. Now, I will say, just finished this area. Next area is coming up, but that'll be for next time. So, uh, be excited for that. I have no idea what it is. Looks like it's a prospector kind of dude. So, um, maybe it's like a mining sort of town. Who knows? But we'll find out next time. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Trailmakers. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you would like to, subscribe to see more Trailmakers and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.